Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. How are all you guys doing? I hope that all of you guys have been doing well. Before we get started, I want to make the announcement about our Honey Pot Raffle. For those of you guys that are new here to our soul family, um, here on our channel, we have something called Mystic Bees Honey Pot Raffle. It is a blessing pot, you guys. The tickets are only $1.11, and that is just our way of donating back to the channel. The way that it goes is whoever wins, they receive the cash pot, you guys. So if any of you guys are interested in participating, you can find the link in the description box below. Also, you guys, um, I've already started posting content on my other channel, Palladian Goddess, you guys. That is a um, metaphysical, spiritual manifestation channel. That's the type of content that I'll be producing on that side. So um, I'll put the link to um, my new channel. Well, it's not really new. It's kind of old. I just started posting on it. Um, if you're interested, um, make sure that you click the link, go over, show some love, support, leave me feedback. Um, I greatly appreciate you guys. Okay. So, um, so I pre-shuffled you guys and I, I just kind of like consulted with spirit over what I was feeling. First of all, spell work is involved. Um, there is there is a very very dark karmic energy um somebody from your person's past that is and has been and possibly currently doing spell work on them to keep them blind reason why i say that is because this man has his eyes over his 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 hands over his eyes and this woman has something over her eyes as well so she's doing work on both you guys okay the work that this that this person is doing or they pay somebody to do is making you not trust them. It's making you not trust your this person, not trust your person. So it's kind of like now you want to be cautious, extra cautious with them. Um, I don't know. It's like it's making you see red flags. They're probably not there. That's probably not even there. It, it's just making you doubt this connection. The spell work that this energy is doing, this ex or whoever they got to do this, is making you doubt the connection and it's making the masculine energy pretend like he don't see you. Pretend like, um, pretend like he don't know what this connection is. And also it's making him not speak and it's not say anything to you because look at this. There's a flower in his mouth and his hands is over his eyes. So this energy is, is affecting both you guys, okay? Um, yeah, and it's also making this masculine energy like not trust you. It's like the, the spell work is making you not trust this masculine energy, feel like, you know, you can't, I mean, beyond beyond how far you already don't trust them, because I do feel like this person has done some things, you know, to make you not trust them. But I just I can't really. This energy, OK, it says X problems and X is calling causing major issues within your connection and doing juju on y'all doing uh, bad spell work on you guys. OK. And like I said, it's keep it's making you not want to move forward with them, not want to give them another opportunity, not trusting them at all. This energy is coming to you in your dreams, showing you things that that are not going on. OK, it's kind of like manipulating you in your dreams to make you feel like this person's doing something that they may not even be doing. And it's doing him. This, it's making him blind to who you are. Or at least not really blind, but making him play dumb because it says playing dumb. It's making this masculine energy or making your person, depending on what roles you are, because there's really no gender and tarot. But it's making this person blind or act like they don't see you and keep their mouth shut. This is too much. Whew, too much. Okay. I feel like whoever this ex is, or maybe they're currently with this person, 
you know, they caught this person talking to you. They caught, like, they figured, they found out that you guys were dealing with each other. Even if they were an ex, like, this is a jealous, possessive, controlling type of energy. And they found out that you guys were dealing with each other. This, let me tell you something. This karmic or this ex has caught this person cheating multiple times. I'm going to say that. They always, they, this isn't the first time, but the only reason why she's going to this extremes now is because this person is in love with you. This person was about to, or they were ready to risk it all to be with you. Yeah. I feel like when you question this person as to what was going on, mind you, because you don't trust them and you really don't trust them to, to, to another extreme because of the, the manipulation. So if this is an actual just like spell work, this is definitely manipulation, meaning that this karmic energy could have been um, putting bad energy in your person's like mind, like making them, making them, um, you know, talking bad about you to this person, talking bad about you to this person, making them second guess who you are, just kind of like, you know, turning them off to you. Just very manipulative type of energy. Very manipulative. This is an ex. Because I feel like they had already split up. Hmm. I don't feel like this is someone that they're currently with. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, mm. This Your person got caught up. I'm telling you burnt out no longer able to keep up with both lovers yeah they got caught up and this person was ready to make a decision and to come towards you they had chosen you i'm just gonna be real with you they had already chose you but this 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 energy this this person that's possibly now their ex wasn't having that they're just like see look at that if you only knew my half of the story, that's what I'm saying. You don't, you, you're not getting to hear their half of the story because this person is doing some type of spell work or some type of energy work or manipul manipulating this person so that they won't contact you. They won't speak to you. They can't speak to you and they don't see this connection for what it is. Yeah. This is why this person's like, their, their energy, their soul is taking opportunity to step forward and say, if you only knew just my half of the story. Yeah. <sighs> this energy is trying to make them choose them. Trying to, um, you know, energetically manipulate them and trick them to get them to, to choose them. But see, look, this person's heart is taken. They've already chosen you energetically. Heart is taken. His heart is, is already full. Someone else owns his heart. Yeah, it's you. You own this person's heart. And this X energy is livid, okay? They are livid. They are pissed, okay? They are pissed, you guys. Oh, wow. See, that's what I'm talking about. People need to stay in their lane. Why is this person out here? Why would you, why would you be out here doing spell work on people, you know? And let me tell y'all something. People that you think not into that, be into that heads up, okay? Just so you know. You can never underestimate anybody. Anybody. And I don't care if they say that they're Christian. Christians do spell work on people too. Okay? They low-key do stuff to people too. They just hide it. Tell me more, spirit. Possessive, controlling, manipulative, greedy, and sneaky. Yeah. This is this X energy. This is the energy that this X is in. Okay. I know I don't deserve you. Are you still upset with me? Yeah, this person feel like they don't deserve you. They feel like they don't deserve you. Okay. They they know that you're upset with them, but they're so they're okay. Let me tell you something. For some of you guys, whatever energy work this person did, Spirit is telling me it's not affecting you as much as it is affecting this your person because you are you are of higher vibration, higher frequency than your person. Your person is needed to work on their aura, needed to clean up their aura, raise their raise their frequency. I'm hearing. 
three-way love affair yeah your person tries to juggle you and this person you know maybe this was your person's energy that was trying to be possessive and you know control you control this other energy you know somebody was just possessive and they wanted their cake and eat it too they wanted both and then finally they was like you know what i can't keep this up i'm gonna make my decision and they chose you and when this energy found out about it they went crazy okay your body knows me best so this person is missing you sexually fake busy buying time so your person right now is overindulging in work trying not to well trying not to think about this connection between you guys i feel like i'm supposed to be using some tarot right now this person feels lost without you but they're being kept from you by this energy work. What else, spirit? All right. What is this 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 ex's problem like? What is going on? Tell me more, spirit. Yep. They want a new beginning with your person. Your person don't want a new beginning with them. Your your person has already made up their mind. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> they already made up their mind. You know they're. They, Yep, look at that shit. The lovers. The lovers talks about a choice between multiple more than one person. The three of, the three of swords talks about breaking a heartbreaking situation and a third party situation. So this is letting me know that your person choosing to take a leap of faith in another direction broke this person's heart. They didn't get chose. I don't care what you think. You think that your person didn't choose you because they're not physically there with you. Spirit is telling me, this is why this person is saying, if you only knew my half of the story, this person did choose you. They chose you. But there are dark energies that this person is, is using to block this person from physically coming towards you. They already chose you. Yeah. This new beginning broke this person's heart. Not, they didn't, they, they physically, they're physically with this person, but they are energetically with you. Spirit is telling me that divine angels, divine beings, how, you know, like ascended masters, they saw everything. And that this karmic energy is going to be poorly judged for this. They're going to be judged for this. Yeah, the temper. So there's two angels here for some of you guys. Um, this could be like a, an ancestor from your side of the family and the ancestor from your person's side of the family. Just trying to look over both you guys. And protect both of you guys right now while you guys are going through this. But there are two angels here. Yeah. And I feel like these angels are communicating with you guys. They, Your angels for, for sure has been communicating with you. But I feel like your person's angels has been trying to communicate with them too. What is this? What is this? Uh, what is this energy here? What is this waiting energy? Who, what are they waiting for? This person is waiting for an opportunity to, to escape. I'm hearing, I, I need to escape. They're trying to wait for the perfect opportunity, the right time to leave this crazy person in the past. So like to completely get this person away from them. They're waiting for the perfect opportunity to escape because it's their passion, their abundance, everything lies within you. But here this third party is, again, I'm telling you, trying to hold them back. Trying to keep this person from you. And the only thing your person wants is to come towards you. All they want is a new opportunity with you. All they, this person desires, like they're desperate for a new beginning. Yeah, it's like they have some type of clarity now as to who you are. So I feel like this spell work is, is wearing off of this person. That's what it is. This spell work is wearing off of this person. It's wearing off of them. And now this person is slowly coming towards you. Yeah, the two, of, the two of Wands talks about choosing a new path. They went from the Three of Wands to the Two of Wands, waiting to the Two of Wands choosing. You see how he has his hand on one. He left the other, the other one. His hand is not on that one. He has made a choice. Or he or she, I'm saying he. <laughs> but like I said, no gender. Play with the characters, you guys. You know you know your role in everything. Sometimes the roles can be reversed. I just have to say that because I'll be reading the comments and some of you guys be like, it's the other way around, Misty. It, it could very well be. You know your, you know the position that you play, okay? But 
this person is no longer in this waiting energy. But I'm telling you guys, they have to do this in a very sneaky manner. Yeah, the Seven of Swords, they, they have to sneak away. They're going to have to be cunning because I'm telling you, this ex is a, a she not here. She not playing no games. I'm just saying, look at this demonic shit. Not playing no games. You hear me? This absolutely is so disturbing. The, 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 the how far this ex is willing to go, how far this person is willing to go to keep your person bound to them, to keep them trapped. It's like they're going out of their way to keep this person in a state of mental confusion so that they won't come towards you. And the energy hurt. Okay. Even if the energy, the spell didn't work on you guys, you are still going to be very cautious with this person because of the things that they have already done to you. You're going to be cautious. So it's kind of like the energy pretty much played on your already not trusting them. So what it did is it went in and it told you stuff in your dreams like they're doing this or they had a baby or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, some of you guys, this person did have a baby. That's up to you to listen to your intuition and your discernment. But for others, you guys, they didn't. But this is this energy work. It's like emotionally manipulating you in your dreams. That's why I pray. Before you go to bed, say your prayers, you know what I'm saying? Call in your, your, protector, your protectors, you know, call in your the divine ascended family to watch over you while you sleep, you know, because this type of stuff do go on. Cover your head at night before you go to bed because the, these type of energies will co come in through your crown chakra and manipulate your energy, manipulate your dreams. Yeah, the ace of wands. So... This talks about, <laughs> let me say this. I, I was about to say that this talks about a new spark of passion. You know, I feel like this energy wants this person to feel passionate about them the way that they used to. But your person don't look at them like this no more. They look at them like the emperor's in reverse. Okay, the emperor's in reverse is someone who is who is emotionally manipulative. This is someone who is codependent. This this is someone who because it's possibly using the kids over this person, bringing up the kids. Like, what about what about the kids? You just gonna leave the kids? This is somebody who because it's possibly codependent upon your person. This is someone who has not done the work. I always call this my fake divine feminine energy. This is somebody who's 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 pretending to be. You know what I'm saying? Like they're putting on. But they're really not in that energy. This is a copycat. They want to be in your energy so bad. Who's going to be communicating spirit? Who, who's this coming? The justice card. This is an apology. I feel like this is an apology. For some of you guys, you may, you may hear about a divorce. Yep, you're going to hear about a divorce. This person is going to divorce this devil energy or they're going to get away from this devil energy. And they are going to be giving you the apology that you've been waiting on, you know? Yep, look at that four ones marriage. They could have been married to this person and others, you guys. This could be like a divine counterpart or something like that. But this person want to come together, come together with you. They want to celebrate. They want to be in union with you. They want to be with you. This person don't even know why they can't move forward. Like they don't know. It's like this. They don't know what's been keeping them from you. They don't know this. That's the that's the scary part of the water, my plant. That's the scary. That's the scary thing about about all of this is they don't know why they're why they cannot get out of their head. Well, they can't get out of their head because someone is using. It's like doing work on their crown chakra. To keep them in their head, to keep them away from their 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 true four ones energy, two of cups under the deck, yeah. To keep them, they don't want this situation to be over. They're trying to stop an ending from happening. Your person was already gone. I'm just saying they were already gone, you guys. And for those of you guys, if you are a a woman but you carry the masculine energy, and your person is a man with the feminine energy, he was gone emotionally. Before he left physically. Some of you guys, you think you're the divine feminine, but you're really the divine masculine. Your person is the divine masculine. They, they're really, they're a man, but they're carrying the divine feminine energy. That's for somebody in particular. 
Okay, so let me pull some um, haters exposed by Fire Witch Tarot, you guys. Make sure if you have if you have not subscribed to her channel, make sure that you do so. Check out her Etsy shop. She has some really bomb cards. All right, let's see what's going on with the haters around you. Uh-uh. Before we do that, y'all, let's see what you don't see coming. And then we're gonna tap into this into um this hater energy spirit. What don't they see coming with this situation? What don't they see coming, Holy Spirit? What don't they see coming? Three of Cups, the boundaries, the fences. What is this? Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Mm. Stalking. Who is stalking, Spirit? Who is this? Whose energy is this? The fucking, um, this Empress energy. It's stalking. I'm, I'm picking up. You guys may be, may be receiving communication from this person. They, they're still coming out. This, this, um, this Empress energy. They're still coming out. You guys, you may see communication from them because they want to keep you trapped in your head about this person. I don't know what is going on in their household or their connection if they got kids i don't know what's being said i don't even know if they they're staying together only you know that but this person's gonna come through this third party the person that's blocking you guys from coming together um they're you let me tell you something spirit is wanting you to be defensive with this person defend yourself i ain't saying physically unless you know what i'm saying and unless that bitch swing on you you know then i need you to body rock that ass but Listen, I mean, set boundaries. You know how to set boundaries without it being physical. I joke a lot and stuff, but you guys know how to set boundaries, right? So they want you to just set boundaries, clearly speak what you're going to say, and, and cut it off. Block this person, okay? Because they're going to come in being very, very manipulative, trying to tell you things about this person to make you further not trust them. You know, make you pull your offer back, make you not want to deal with them. You know, they're going to try to misguide you with the high priestess energy in reverse. You know? Yeah, this is somebody, they're, this is a very insensitive energy. They don't care about this. This Whoever this person is, this empress in reverse energy, whoever they are, they know that you're the real empress. And they're stalking you. They're watching you too. This person has been in a very moody, dark place, you guys. They've been in a very, very dark place because they know that it is over between them and this person. They know that they cannot, they can't continue to hold on to them, that whatever energy work they was doing has, is, is wearing off. And this person is going to be coming in to claim you. That's just, that's just that. All right. Spirit, what is going on? with the um and under the under the deck is the ace of swords so spirit said that's the truth what's going on uh with the haters around my collective what type of hate what what how do their haters feel so some of you guys excuse me your haters are collecting dirt on you trying to collect dirt on you <laughs> it's gonna backfire on their asses though okay well spirit they'll claim i did it first knowing damn well they got inspired by you see that's what i'm saying people need to stop stop that shit Cause you know what? At the end of the day, everybody's inspired by everybody. That makes no sense. Ain't nobody got to claim they did nothing first. Like people really need to grow up. When you walk in the store, the bread aisle is full of bread with the same exact ingredients. The only thing different is the, the labels on the outside of them. Okay. The way that the packaging looks. People need to get a grip and grow up. Time to take legal action. Some of you guys, you're going to have to sue somebody. You're going to have to sue somebody for dragging your name through the mud. Some of you guys, you're going to have to pull a Cardi B and let somebody know that you ain't the one to play with. And I will sue that ass, okay? You may have to do that because these karmics, they're not playing. They're coming in all shapes and forms. And they will be out here dragging your name through the mud and lying on you and collecting dirt on you. Just trying to, you know... 
destroy your character but spirit is saying that if you if you have to take legal action do that you're gonna win okay purposely triggering you to f to f up your day what else spirit They can't come at you alone because they're scared. Oh, so they're they're cowards. Yeah, if you can't if you can't confront me by yourself, if you gotta first of all, yo, I had that happen to me one time. My um I I had a this back when I was foster parent, I had a teenage foster daughter and she got into it. Something happened with one of the neighbors' teenage daughter, right? And the woman came over to talk to me, but she came with um, one of her cousins and I immediately laughed because bitch, I can't take you serious. You know, if we're going to sit down and talk about what went on between our daughters, just me and you can sit down and talk. You don't need to bring, you know, the Brady fucking bunch with you. That, that made no sense. I, I, at this point I knew that bitch was scary. Like why, why, why you have to bring somebody with you? You know, so cowards do stuff like that. If you really grown, it don't take a fucking football team to talk to somebody. It don't it don't take all that. So I laugh because it's a joke to me. You know, that makes no sense. Look at that. <laughs> then return back to sender, backfiring on them. Okay. So if those of you guys that are doing your return back to senders, it's working. Everything that they're doing will be backfiring on you. On not on you, on them. I'm sorry. Unless you the one doing negative energy or sending there some negative energy to somebody, it will return back to you too. Whoever that's for. Look at that. You'll witness this, you'll witness this person's karma. Plotting and scheming is part of their lifestyle and hobby. They're mad because you pay them no mind. <laughs> so, all right. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Hit the notification bell so that you can be a part of the notif notification gang. Love and light to you guys. Peace.